Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today is July 2nd. I'm going to give you a tour of my pepper garden. Here are two jalapeno plants growing in a container. The bottom is cut out. I grow a lot of plants this way. This year I'm actually trying to grow two pepper plants in the same space where I might have grown one. Last year it was one plant. And I read that you can put two plants in the same space and they really don't compete with each other. Well, these plants are beginning to produce jalapenos. They look like they're doing perfectly fine next to each other. And I think there is some truth to that. We move down to my sweet pepper part of the garden and I just keep them on one side. Peppers will not cross pollinate that year and create a sweet pepper to a hot pepper. You won't tell a taste difference, but seeds could cross pollinate if you're doing that. And then the following year, you might get a surprise. This is the Cornito. I believe that's how you pronounce it from All America Selections. Two plants right in there. Pepper plants are really fragile. They break very easily, so you do need to tie them up. So two plants there, one plant there of the same variety, and they're doing pretty much the same. The one on the left is a little bit bigger, but I think the yield production is going to be much better by putting two plants in one space. These are my Cubanelles. I've been harvesting those. Bell peppers back there. And you can tell the bell, bell pepper leaf and the other pepper leaves are a little bit different. All of my banana peppers down here doing extremely well. Okay, let's cross over to the other side of the garden. Here's my hot pepper garden. And right over here, that's a Facing Heaven pepper, which I highly recommend if you've not grown it before. And the peppers are a nice heat but not over the top and they actually point up towards the heaven that's how they get their name and they have a nice sweetness to them too I think red cayenne pepper just starting to form this is a poblano although when I look at the fruit forming this sort of looks like um, a pepperoncini so I think I screwed up something and put the wrong plant in there because poblanos don't look like that when they're little here is a orange habanero the habaneros the scotch bonnets scotch bonnet right over here tend to be smaller and bushier than your other plants. Back in there is my Anaheim, and it's doing really well. And you can see the general spacing, maybe, I don't know, a foot and a half, two feet across each way. This is the perfect spacing for peppers. They'll do really well like this. My jalapeno, they're gonna be ready to pick this week. And I actually enjoy the jalapeno, so there's a plant there plant in the back and I will stuff them with panko breadcrumbs. They're absolutely delicious. But here's the quick overview. But that's the general spacing. And this is where I shot my coffee grinds video. I will put a link to that of just how I'm feeding this um, coffee grounds about once a month. Let's go over to the other side yet. Here's one of my test gardens. This is actually on a slope. And I have a poblano and mulatto, which are just standard peppers I grow. And thankfully, I'm growing another poblano. Hopefully, that's the right variety, not like what I screwed up on the other side. But in here are some test plants from Sakata Seeds. This is the Shishido pepper and the Takara pepper, and they're doing pretty well. They look good now. They're nice and green. But because this was on the slope, I didn't have it mulched. And I think it was drying out way too quickly, and these guys were struggling. So I fed them, put mulch down, and over the last week, they are starting to really come back. Two more pepper plants growing in containers. The bottoms are cut out so the root systems get into the ground. And I like doing this, as I've said in other videos, to concentrate resources right into containers. It saves you a little bit of money. That's a red cayenne. I enjoy uh, dried crushed red pepper for pastas over the winter, so I grow a lot of red pepper plants. And a couple more jalapenos. Again, two plants growing in there. Plenty of jalapenos coming in. And like I was saying, I really think there is something to being able to put two plants into one space. Okay, here is the last part of the garden. Let me just spin around here slowly. And this is the last pepper garden at the Rusted Garden or my house. I have more at the community plot. And I'm growing a lot of All-America Selection winners here. And they're a wonderful organization. It's been around for 85 years. I recommend you go and check out the website. I'll put a link on there. They don't sell the seeds. They find new winning varieties every year. And deem them winners. It's pretty simple. So they're not selling you the seeds, but they go and do seed trials yearly and the winners are deemed all America selection winners. Now I can tell you to be a winner, you have to really meet three criteria that I recognize is one prolific. This is a pretty and sweet pepper. Look at all the peppers growing on there. So prolific, great taste, ease of growth. And these are a couple of their winners. This is the Mama All-America Selection winner right here. Again, look at all the peppers growing on there. 
coming across here. This is actually a hot pepper, emerald jalapeno uh, class, I guess, variety type. Delicious, I've been eating those. And this is a flaming, which I don't recall if it's hot or not. It just turned red about seven days ago. I'll be picking that one. Producing nicely. Don't know if it's flaming because of the color or the taste, you know, but I'll be surprised a little bit. And back in there are six plants, two per space. And those are orange cayennes. Tastes like the red cayennes, but they are a true orange color. And I really, like I said, like the dried, crushed red pepper, orange pepper for pastas. So these are the peppers that I'm growing here at the Rusted Garden. Hope you enjoyed the tour. My biggest tip really is, is you don't have to grow everything, but just pick two or three plants you like, one new variety, and give it a try. They don't take a lot of space. You know, you can plant them a foot and a half apart. And a lot of the varieties do really, really well. And if you're just getting started, I recommend going to All America Selections website, pick out some of their varieties. They have a database. You can just search peppers and see what winners have come up over the years. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my seed shop at www.therustedgarden.com. Thanks.